Blinding lights flared across the sky, and voices no longer human groaned in anguish. The hills re-echoed with hollow thunder, and vast crevices scarred the face of the earth. The mighty structures raised by man collapsed in dust, and the green leaves burned and shriveled. Blood and fire rained on the land. Huge mountains tumbled into the sea. Those who had lived there died, and the rivers and springs flowed with poison. Night overwhelmed the day and vanquished it. The few survivors sought only death, yet even death fled from them. Here's Dig him out. Come on, move it, move it. Look everywhere. You gotta find them. Come on, come on. 
Professor Ross, you are sent as me to bring you back. He wants you to go on with your experiments. All he wants is to make slaves of everyone. We just want to help you. You're in danger from the radiation here. Come quietly. Never!
Come on, move it. Get on. Come on, move it. Move it. Just move it here against the wall. Where are you going? Get back there. Come on. No. He's the one I was there. I saw okay, him do it. Okay, it. On your feet, Hill. You heard him. Get me one. So you're the bastard that killed one of the untouchables. Why? Where are you from? How have you escaped contamination? I'm not saying anything to you, creeps. <laughs> the fact that you're uncontaminated means we can't kill you. Although we can do anything else we like. And you better believe it. To the isolation chamber. <laughs> Hurry up. External contamination level has diminished to an astonishing degree. Yesterday it reached a minimum of 0 0.075, virtually non-existent. Now that the air is uh, no longer contaminated, the Earth is beginning to regain its fertility, and someone outside of here has discovered this. Are you sure of that? I'm quite sure. Last month I ordered my faithful untouchables to go to the dead zone and plant some seeds which I saved from the nuclear holocaust, preserved in shielding solutions such as that one. To my surprise, they all grew, every one. So I gave orders at once for the plants to be destroyed. And my men went out to do so. But there is one who is not yet returned. Was he killed? Of course. And I have an idea who may have done it. I suspect that man called Rush, whom we captured yesterday. And Lorna agrees with me. He gives the impression of being intelligent, only he refuses to talk. If he should reveal the secret that humans can live outside again, the end of our reign. But he won't, you because he was put in isolation in the condenser gallery. Perhaps he knows nothing, but I think you should interrogate him. After all, it's your specialty. Why don't you pay him a visit? <laughs> I should warn you, Itaki. You're becoming indispensable, which means you're getting too powerful. You wouldn't want to end up decapitated. <laughs> don't let it worry you. Where are you from? I don't remember. Life outside is very dangerous. I've been very lucky. There's something I would like to show you. Please examine it very carefully. Do you see that man? He too could not remember where he came from. Do you know him? That is, did you know him? No. He was not as lucky as you. Anyone who meets you is unlucky. But things are soon going to change. Proceed. He was frozen by Itaki. Those custom-made containers will silence any spy. I can order one for you, if you like. Well, do you know him? No. Continue. Uh, 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 
That fool came here thinking he could rob me of the secret of life, which I possess alone. Alone, you understand? And I rule alone. Stop! It'd be a pity to waste one of the uncontaminated. Hangar 4 will sweeten him. Make him do hard work. And report to me personally. work silently. Talking is forbidden in here. Stop loafing, you! Hey, you fella. This earth is radioactive. If you don't want your hands ruined like mine, try to touch it as little as possible. Some folks here spend the whole night screaming with pain and the sores all over their hands. But how long can you survive? If you're strong for a couple of years, I'm one of the exceptions. I was already old when they caught me, so I developed an immunity. And I've been here now nearly ten years, since just after the nuclear war, and I've seen lots of youngsters fade away. You mean no one rebels? You're pretty good with questions, ain't you? I think you could be some kind of spy. Really? If you think I'm guilty of spying, then you must have noticed that man over there who hasn't missed a word of what we've been saying. You mean Steele? <laughs> He's not a bad guy. Only he thinks because he's such a big, strong bastard, he's our leader. Maybe that answers the question, why nobody's rebelled. Listen, son, living here is no paradise, but they do provide our meals. And food's important, it means survival. You may not live long, but you live. There's no food outside here, and you're bound to die of the contamination. We all know that. Well, I survived outside, and I assure you, there is life. The seeds are starting to germinate again. Shh, quiet. The air's not contaminated anymore. You be quiet. What are you doing there? I was explaining to him how to treat the roots. He's new here, Supervisor. He doesn't know what to do. Get back to your place and keep quiet. Yes, Supervisor. We'll talk later. <laughs> there you are. Is that all the water they give us? They need a lot for the plants. Thanks. Yeah. How's everything, Carol? Oh, could be worse, Homer. And it could be better, like if I had a bigger helping. <laughs> <laughs> it smells good. made an impression. He always tries to pick a fight with the newcomers just to prove to everybody he's boss here. No. You handle that real smart. But take my advice and keep out of his way. Take him to the fertilizer plant.
Go along, hurry up. No talking. Come on, come on, step lively there. beyond the underground nurseries. There's miles of tunnels cut through the rock. They use them for storage, and they're filled with all kinds of weapons and ammunition and the carports for trucks and things. They also use them as prisons, so they're well guarded night and day. Huh. I'd like to look them over. How can you? I'll find a way. <coughs> when I say keep quiet, that means everyone, including you. You're going to learn to obey orders because I'm going to teach you. <laughs> ah! Get back. Don't move. You better behave yourselves. Remember that the earth in here is radioactive. Now, if you'll just put down your laser guns, I'll go with you without making any more fuss. It's your choice. You'll be right at home here. It's nice and cool with lots of air. And besides that, it's built solid, so you won't have to waste time trying to get free. Once you're used to it, you won't want to leave. Hey, this one's dead. Yeah, I noticed. We'll have to send him to the fertilizer plant. We might as well unchain him now. He ain't gonna try to escape. Give me a hand. Shall we go ahead with the execution, sir? Kill them. Has Rush talked yet? Not a word. And I'm more convinced than ever that he knows the contamination is finished outside. I don't want to run any stupid risks now. Hmm. We should eliminate him. Perhaps I could find out if he knows anything and get him to work with us. An excellent idea. Why not let her try? Hmm. <laughs> Get this through your heads. We're the last hope for the survival of humanity. And I'm Supreme Lord and Master. You can all sleep, eat, and breathe only because it is my will. Tell me, Supreme Lord and Master, isn't there anything else you want? Haven't you decided whether you're going to give me the chance to try my skill at interrogation? Lorna, your... If you have no objection, I'd like to return to my experiments. Wait. She's probably right. Of course she is, sir. Lorna is very clever. Yes, but how? How do you intend to do it, Lorna? The end justifies the means. But don't worry, you'll always be my lord and master. Prostitute. Stop arguing, just give me the key. But I have orders. Give me the key or you'll end up where he is.
Weren't you hungry and thirsty when you were outside for such a long time, Resh? How did you manage to survive? By yoga? Who are you? You're not the type I'd expect to find here as a servant. You must want something. Must I explain it? Move along now, hurry up! Come with me. Come on, faster, faster! We haven't got all day! Get moving! It's up to you. Just say the word and I can get you out of here. What must I say? Promise me to stop being difficult. That's what Yor would like, isn't it? But tell me, what would happen if I did? I'll explain it to you tonight. Well, we meet at the car parts. But why at a place like that? Because nobody will bother us. You can make the guards keep their distance while I hear what you have to explain to me. All right, I'll wait for you. You want some water? Thanks. Well, I'm glad to see you back all in one piece. How come they let you out so fast? I'll tell you how come he's out. This son of a flea-bitten prairie dog is a low-down, double-leading spy! No, stop, No, stop, <laughs> <laughs> the message. Smart fella, Steel. You nearly broke my shoulder. You were asking for it. Waking me without warning, like that, in the middle of the night, it's quite risky. But I don't mind risks. That's obvious. I noticed the way you watched me this afternoon, when I was fighting with steel. Come on outside. This way.
All right, Carol. Spill it. What do you want from me? Well, you don't have to get angry with me. I was the one who was chosen to speak on behalf of all of us. All who? All those who can't resign themselves to living like animals, being used in experiments, all those who, who have begun to realize that you are the only one who could save us. And how could I save you? Well, we believe if we could get out of here, We'd find some way to create a whole new life. We've always hoped for that. Tell me, why haven't you ever tried to leave? <laughs> There's no way we could ever be certain. Besides, we're all terrified of your. <laughs> the main thing is, we must have someone to lead us. Is this an offer? We think the contamination is over. And, and you look so much like someone we were all counting on. Who was that? Someone who had promised he was going to help us. Then Yor had him executed. He had him frozen to death by Itaki. Rush, you knew him, didn't you? He was my brother. He said that everyone outside was starting to get reorganized. They were beginning to love again that there were cases of pregnancies and that plants were starting to grow again in the open. Did you... did you come here to avenge your brother? Huh, Homer. What are you doing in here? He set this up. Well, you certainly fooled me completely. We couldn't move until we were sure of you. I told him. Well? Okay. I'll help your people. Have you got a plan? How many men will we want? Us, Steele and his pals. But why bring them into it? They're tough bastards. With every motive for fighting. Did you tell Steele? I just hinted at the possibility of everybody leaving this dump. And soon. I'll explain it to you. Rush, come with me. They want you. You better be careful with him. He's pretty dangerous. And don't you forget it. Don't worry. <laughs> I 
I was very disappointed. When you didn't turn up at the carport. I waited the whole night for you. The sentries were on duty the whole time last night. It was impossible to get past them. I'm sorry. Forbidden area. He has yours permission. What are you doing? Come with me. Get a move on. You back there. Speed it up. Hey, wait a minute. Who are you? What the devil's going on here? There's a revolt, sir. The prisoners in sectors 9 and 6 have tried to break out. No one's ever left here alive. But this is a very different situation, because now someone is leading them. It's that rush. Rush? We'll see. Advance! Forward!
rush has been sighted in Tunnel Complex 382. The only exit is near feeder track 26 West. I repeat, rush has been sighted in Tunnel 382. The only exit is near feeder track 26 West. Message received, message received. We're heading for contact zone. Mobile Unit 72 calling command car. Mobile Unit 72 calling command car. Command car here, come in. Russia's whereabouts have been localized. We're heading for tunnel exit near feeder track 26 West. We're waiting for further information. Right, we'll join you there. in there is dead now. Let's go. We threw a gas bomb down the hole. I'm sure he's dead. Only if he was in the hole. Go on searching. Squads north and south. What are you thinking, Taki? We have the area You're completely coming. surrounded. We're going to get him sooner or later. Back to base. Thank <laughs> you. 
then we might as well go back to base. There's nothing we can do here. There's no sight of that guy. Besides, I'm fed up hanging around out here. Look out! That's him! Shoot! Omega to Proteus. Omega to Proteus. He's coming in your direction. Be careful. He's riding one of our motorcycles. Try to cut him off. Head for the bridge. He's on his way here, sir. What's wrong with those fools out there? Why didn't they capture him? He was too quick for them. And he killed a lot of them, too. Those bastard cowards. They're a bunch of good-for-nothings. He's no ordinary person, that rush. He has something extra, something more than strength. Some reason that drives him to fight. You're crazy. That's rubbish. I need to know how many men we have remaining. Not very many, sir. Well, go and reinforce the defense squads. <laughs> Let me go. You cheap let tramp, you see what it cost me to let you have your way. <laughs> but now you're going to pay the price for all your mistakes. The Lord of the world does not forgive those who betray him. <laughs> Take that post.
Turn to base. Rushes at the plant houses. Back to base, everybody. Caverns!
Where are you, you goddamn son of a bitch? Ah! <laughs> 